Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the very exciting news that has been flying around the EastEnders fanbase very recently. Uh, and that is the return of Ian Beale and Cindy Beale. Uh, now what do I think of this? Uh, I think it's incredible really. Uh, now we kind of knew that Ian Beale would be returning anyway. Because that little teaser at Dot Branning's funeral, that kind of gave, it, gave us a little hint to, you know see that he was returning, which is always a good thing because Ian Bill is the best character in EastEnders, in my own personal opinion. I did a video on that, you can check that out, uh, so somewhere on my channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, Cindy Bill is the one that people are getting massively excited for, and I think it's incredible because she supposedly died in the TV show 25 years ago. That's before I was even born. This is completely mental. Um, but she is supposedly returning from the dead. Now this has not been officially confirmed, but it has been reported on by tons of news articles, such as like the Radio Times and various other articles have reported on this as well. So I thought I thought I might do a video on it, and and, and here I am today. Um, but yeah, it's really crazy because Cindy Bill left 25 years ago after she supposedly died in prison during childbirth. So to see how this will go into how she actually faked her death, we don't know. Um, I heard some other articles were talking about a police protection scheme and various other stuff like that. Um, but uh, would that be the case? Probably. That might have happened like that. Or she maybe didn't want, didn't intend to fake her death, uh, but it happened anyway or stuff like that. It's all very, very strange and very odd. A downside to the return of Cindy Bill is the fact that Various other characters who have connections to Cindy are not there anymore, like um, like David Wicks, he's not there anymore, Ian Bill's brother. Uh, other characters such as, you know, Peter, Cindy Bill Jr., they're not there either, so they don't have those kind of connections. Obviously Lucy, she's dead, you know, Stephen, he's dead as well. So the connections really for that return wouldn't have been as great, because they're all, all, all four of her all four of her biological children are not there, so it's a bit um, bit of a strange one, really. Uh, but the other thing that I uh, keep on hearing going around the fan base at the moment is that uh, she could have been the ex-wife of George Knight, who recently came into EastEnders, um, I believe last week uh, he came to EastEnders. Uh, he suppo she supposed, a lot of people are theorising now, that uh, she was married to George Knight, and those two children were her children, uh, which I think is quite a cool concept, and um, it's quite a bit of a strange one, really, as well, because uh, Bobby's getting a bit close to one of the girls as well, which is kind of a bit weird, because if, if it is, then the same mother of his sister who he murdered, which would be a bit strange overall. Um, yeah, but I think, as a concept, that would be fairly interesting to go by, but also George Knight, because he's a fairly new character, I feel like if they want to just pile on a load of, uh, pile, pile on a load of established lore and stuff like that, they can, they can do that, he's a new character, just give him some information and stuff like that, so I feel like that's quite a good route to go down, which I think is interesting, but this whole overall storyline's a bit crazy, because obviously we heard Ian on the phone, uh, way back in December 2022, phoning, and he said, all right, love, I'll, I'll, I'll be home in a minute. And, and we, we just all just assumed, we thought, oh, it's, uh, you know, uh, we, we didn't know who it was going to be. But I joked, uh, um, well, me and my friend um, at school, I joked, to, I joked to him about, oh, yeah, I, I reckon he's, uh, he's phoning Cindy Bill, even though she's dead. That was, that was, that was, a, that was a throwaway joke. Never mind that the news articles, a couple of months later, would be talking exactly the same as my original joke. So, um, a bit crazy really, if I, if I predicted that, then that's really mental. But how did she fake her death? This is one of the things that I find incredible. You, uh, you can't fake your death in prison, that's, that's just a bit odd. Unless she got released from prison, then had the baby, and then faked her death then, and then gave Cindy Bill Jr. to her sister, and then all of that stuff like that. But, do you know what she's ended up doing, Cindy Bill? She's ended up destroying lots of characters. 
because Stephen is probably one of the most messed up characters in the whole of EastEnders history. Due to that being raised by Ian Bill, I mean, when you're raised by Ian Bill, I feel a bit sorry for you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that kind of destroyed his character anyway, because Stephen was a very complex uh, character, to say that for the least. Uh, and also, Peter Bill, he's he's an absolute moron. He's still alive, though, in, in the canon of the show, but um, hopefully they'll bring him back and then do something else like that again. Again, but I don't know if they'll recast him because I know not not very many people were fans of the recent uh, Peter Bill. But I thought he was all right. He, he was all right. Uh, but um, they might bring back uh, Peter Bill maybe at some point. We never know. But it would be nice for this to tie in with the Cindy Bill return, and also Cindy Bill Junior. Uh, that would be really cool to see her return because then we would get to see that kind of dynamic between them two that we just ne never seen before. But back to what I was saying about Cindy Bill damaging these these four children, you can definitely see this because when she died, really, Ian was left there with with those four children and having to do that sort of stuff like that. So I can see why Ian would be angry. But um, more of the fact is, two of her children died, and she didn't even come back to see them, even though she was supposedly alive, according to these leaks and rumours. Just want to address that quickly because none of this is confirmed yet. Hopefully, it'll be confirmed soon. Um, but um, yeah, that's mental. But the theory about George Knight supposedly being the uh, former husband to Cindy Bill does make more sense than we actually think, really. Because the way he was describing her uh, sounded a bit like Cindy personally, kind of, you know, kind of that kind of, you know bit more of a, an attitude way and kind of stuff like that, kind of thought to kind of be similar to Cindy, but we don't really know yet, uh, but I was really hoping the Duff Duff last night uh, was going to be him looking at a photo and it being Cindy and that would be the big reveal, but it wasn't, it was just saying Rose on his ring, um, which um, yes, I guess, oh, I don't know whether Rose and Cindy are the same person, but we don't know yet. Hopefully, we will find out. Um, but going back to another topic, Ian Bill's supposedly returning. Now, what do I think of this? Now, Ian Bill is my favourite character in the whole of EastEnders. Um, partly just the fact that he's a really annoying character. And you, annoying characters are normally quite quite interesting. I always find, oh, you, you find them annoying, but they're cool because you like their character because you like the fact you hate them, and that's that's what makes them a likeable character, um, which doesn't make much sense, really. But, um, yeah, Ian Bill, I'm really excited to see him return. Obviously, that phone call he was making in December obviously led to all of these clues that dot up to Cindy Bill's return. But it's so strange, all of the coming back from the dead part, obviously, because Cindy Bill died and obviously left Ian just alone with those children. I feel like, why would Ian go back and fall in love with her? even though Cindy tried to kill Ian. So it doesn't make as much sense as we think, but hopefully when this gets officially confirmed, we'll have more answers than questions. Um, but I am thoroughly looking forward to it. Hopefully this is all true, and I'm not just thinking too much heavily into these couple of uh, articles. But I am generally excited for this. Um, the uh, Chris Clenshaw uh, EastEnders uh, has been really good so far. Uh, the new era that has been pretty good, I think all of it's been doing quite well. Um, obviously the death of Lola, that was all very well written, and various other stuff like that. I think it's just coming along quite well. Uh, the Knights, they seem like a pretty good family at the moment. Uh, I do like them, I think they're alright. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly looking forward to this, if this does actually happen. Um, but uh, very looking forward to hopefully seeing Adam Woodjack and obviously Michelle Collins, obviously, who famously played Cindy Beale. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just think it's crazy to imagine, imagine that, you know, a couple of years ago to think, oh, Cindy Beale would be returning. They'd just say, oh, she's dead. But do you know, it is very strange because if you look back about 20 years ago, now, I think everyone knows I'm 20 years ago. 20 years ago, uh, Dirty Den returned from the dead. And I guess this kind of sparked the trend of 
uh, once every 10 years a person returns from the dead. Um, 2015, uh, Kathy Beal returned from the dead. And now here we are, 2023, and Cindy Beal might be returning from the dead. It's just it's just crazy. Who are they going to bring up from the dead next? I don't know. Pete Beal? I don't know. Wellard? <laughs> um, I was just trying to think of any more characters they could bring back from the dead. But it's just crazy now. We're at the point where anyone could come back from the dead. Um, it is literally mad, isn't it? But I think it is a cool concept what they're going to do. And obviously there is a lack of bills on Albert Square. Um, a bills and Fowlers to kind of kind of go to that further extent and I think EastEnders might need to you know push some more bills push some more Fowlers in there and uh, we go back to more classic EastEnders roots but bringing a character back from the dead is a very controversial way to do stuff because obviously when they have a death written into the show and been left for 25 years he does leave a bit of a mark because if you were to brought Cindy Bill back 10 years ago all of her children would have still, still been alive there would have been more shocks and thrills they could have done with that but, um, yeah, but I still think it's going to be fairly interesting if she is the mother of the knights, uh, of, obviously, the family knight, which would be an interesting dynamic. But I am looking forward to the Ian Bill return, and obviously, I wonder what Ian thought about this when he first found about it. I bet he was furious. I bet Ian was just like, that's, that's probably what Ian was like. He probably just went into a full rage. I, 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 if I think if I was Ian Bill and I found out my ex-wife had actually secretly, you know, Faked her own death and left me with my four children, leaving them scared. I think I would. I think I'd be a bit angry, um, but uh, maybe that didn't bother Ian. But I think it would do if it was me. Um, it is a bit strange how he would go back in love with her, even though she tried to kill him, which is a bit odd. Um, yeah, I'm also looking forward to the dynamics if you know they get to meet like Sharon and Kathy and what they're gonna think about this, and more so Bobby. Bobby's going to have a bit of effect on that, even though he killed her daughter. So that's probably going to be a whole interesting thing. But the way Bobby is now in EastEnders is very different to what he was about a decade ago. Because about a decade ago, Bobby was some kind of psycho murderer-ish. Um, yeah, can you believe nine years ago he killed Lucy Bill? That's... Uh, that's, that's mental, isn't it? Uh, and about... Who knows how many years ago now, he, uh, he whacked Jane on, on the back of the head with a hockey stick. So, I think Bobby Bill's changed a lot since he was younger. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I have to say today. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the video soon enough. I'd just like to say thank you for 150 subscribers. Uh, I'd love to get to 200 subscribers by the end of the year. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. I've got videos on the Dermot David Tennant. And also on my ranking of the third man in Last of the Summer Wine. Who's my favourite out of the first four. And uh, that will be coming soon. And um hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the video. See you later. Bye for now.